Hey guys, uh, today I have a gateway NV57H96U, also known as P5WS0. And we got it here for the power jack repair. Basically, this guy is loose, has been loose for a couple of weeks, and eventually it stopped conducting the electricity. So, what we do is we get the laptop here by mail and we basically fix it. So um, leave a like if you like the video and I'm gonna show you how to replace this uh, this power jack inside. So you pretty much have to unscrew everything, remove the, uh, uh, remove the uh, battery here and for unscrewing those guys here you need to have a really fine screwdriver but focus focus yeah right there so one of those fine screwdrivers it's only needed for those four screws so one two you know that I'm probably gonna find even finer one It's not working. It sucks to be stuck on a third screw, but we'll look. I need something, something really fine. Let me see. Alrighty. Come to me. Okay. Let's see if this one's gonna be working. Yep. All right. All right. All right. So here we got those five screws unscrewed. Let me place it back in here. All righty. Now oh, let me reposition the camera so you could see everything much better here. And the rest of the screws are pretty easy to unscrew. So just go where I point the finger, that's where the screws is at. There are two screws here. One, there should be another one there. Two, three. Nothing there. Seven, eight, nine, two right there. here. All right, and it seems like all of those are unscrewed. So we want to lift up the cover here. We got two screws right here. Okay, another one right there. Alrighty, and another one right here. Okay, another one right there. Okay, wonderful. Now what I want to do is I probably want to disconnect uh, those cables here. Like that. 
what you get. Okay. And everything falls apart because the hinges are broken. Alrighty. Now, uh, here. Alright, so uh, it shouldn't be coming apart like that, but it does come up. It, it's coming apart like that. Uh, should be coming together with this thing in the bottom. So, here. Okay, so here. Okay, so we got three wires underneath the. Okay, so here. Like that. You see this wire right here? Okay. So we disconnect this. And then, you know, we don't. Well, let me just disconnect it just in case. It's better just to leave it like that. Okay, so you see the hinges are broken here. They basically don't hold anything. And right there, you see basically the plastic bottom is where the hinge is supposed to be. And that's the reason why uh, the jack basically came apart, because the hinges are loose. They are loose on all of them. So this is not the first laptop we get here with the damage like that. So. Here, what you want to do is you want to take the speaker out here, like that. Okay. All right. Like that. And lift it up. Okay. Now, what you want to do is uh, this is your jack right here. Pull out the jack. Pull out the jack. Which way is up so I could put it in later the proper way. Alright, I have to fire up the Alright, so here. Let's see which cable is loose. So the in this case the the bottom wire right here is loose. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, remove the well we're gonna fix everything here. Since the laptop is here, we're gonna fix everything so that there won't be any issues in the future. And the way you fix everything, you have to cement everything right here and everything on the other side so let's set this guy aside like that let's set here and by the way if you're in chicago and you could stop by we can fix it in about an hour or so uh, if you're not local just mail it in we can fix it within 24 hours after we receive it and ship it back your way. So here we basically remove the insulation. And here we also remove the insulation.
Now what you want to do is you want to strip the wiring right here and right there. So you strip the wiring and uh, here what we want to do is note I just I can just cut it. Not have to desolder it here like that, like that. I like that, okay. So what we're gonna do next is pull the wires through this magnet right here. Remove the magnet. Okay. And you wanna remove all this extra insulation here. Which is not really necessary. Okay, so like that, like that, like that, throw it away, like that, okay. You know, I don't like the way how those uh, black wiring look like. It's not going to conduct electricity as well as it's supposed to, so I'm going to shorten it even more. Basically, it's an oxidation from the prior issues. Like that, like that, okay. And we're gonna strip the wiring right here as well. Like that. Wonderful. Now, um, like that. And twist the wires basically, twist the black wire and twist the red wires. Now I need to find another jack uh, to, to replace it. Alright, so here is the replacement jack, it's exactly the same as this guy, only the color is different, it's the same on the sides, and like that on the back. As you will see, there's a pin in the back, uh, there's a hole inside of the pin in the back right there, uh, where you need to put the cable through, right there, and solder it. Also the hole right here on the negative side where you put the black. So the black wire goes here, red wire goes here. This wire you have to short uh, here. This this wire you have to short with the casing, so you have to pull it this way and solder this connection down. So that's what I'm gonna do right now, is uh, here. So, here. Basically, this uh, leg bent a little bit this way, and I'm gonna short this part right here. And short is basically put solder here and here. Red wire again goes here, black wire goes here. So, basically, it's gonna look something like so you put the red wire from here, bend it a little bit like that, and you can even put it slightly to the side, okay, and now you have to solder it like that, and then what you do is you put the black one through here and you solder the black one, so, but you have to do it one by one, don't, don't do it all, all together, so here I wanna make sure the wire is sitting really nice in here, and stick, the, the, the extra wiring goes towards the back, so that's how you basically Put the wire through and now you have to solder this connection.
And let me show you how we set it here. So that's the soldering job right there. Right? Now you want to remove the excess, uh, excess wiring. Like that. And like that. Now, what you want to do is you want to put some. Uh, some insulation on top, and it's a rubber insulation here, so like that, and like that, so everything is insulated. Now we just have to let it uh, dry out, and in the meantime what we're going to do is uh, uh, we're going to work on uh, cementing the, the uh, Hinges. Okay, so set that aside. Let it dry. Okay, so cement. Need a ton of cement. This much.
All right, so that's the way we mix cement. I'm gonna set it aside right now, and uh, uh, give me about uh, five minutes. I want the uh, the rubber on this to kick in, uh, the insulation to kick in, and uh, once it dries a little bit, it's not gonna stink as much. So I'm gonna be able to put it onto the laptop and show you how to cement everything in place. So again, fast forward five minutes, five minutes, and. Um, because I can't pause the video. If I'm gonna pause the video, I have to cut and splice and too much work. So, uh, yeah, for right now, you could check out our website, powerjackrepair.org. And uh, yeah, give me about five minutes, right? Okay. Again, five minutes.
Alrighty, so it's still gonna be stinking bad. But since the video is rolling, I don't wanna, I don't want you to guys uh, spend a lifetime here waiting for me to want the whole thing to dry. So here. All right, so I wanna remove that stuff. The cement basically gonna go right here, right in this area, and right in that area. But before you're gonna put cement, you need to put the jack in place, and you will also wanna cement the jack a little bit. So, so yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Set that aside a little bit. Remove this for right now, and so make this some space to work with. And let's put the jack back in. I'm gonna turn on the exhaust right here. Here you wanna do what you wanna do is you wanna put the wires so that the hinge won't be touching the wiring below. Let's check if if the wires are gonna clean the
Okay. So let's bring the cement in place. Okay, so slight problem here is uh, is the uh, Okay, so relatively everything is in place. So what we do next is we put some stuff on top, uh -huh. like right here, right there, everywhere here. That's how to get it done, how to get it fixed properly. And let's. Uh, you're gonna put some tape right here.
Okay, so what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna close the screen and keep it closed. But when you're closing it, you need to make sure you're gonna be applying the pressure onto the hinges. Okay, like that. And keep it closed for 24 hours uh, so that the cement would take some time to kick in. Now what you wanna do is you wanna secure those screws right here. One. And now you want to remove the plug just in case the plug has some cement on top of it so the, the hole is aligned properly. Good. Remove that and let's put the small wires back in, uh, small screws back in. Like that, like that. That and like that. Okay, here we put it in like this. Like that. Okay, two screws, the sealer ones go right here, one here, one right there. Ah, crap, I forgot to put the speaker. Let's take it all apart. Unbelievable. You can see cement already penetrated the hole, so that's a good thing. And here's as well. Alright. Let's unscrew. Open it up again. The cement still didn't kick in yet, so it should be alright for now. Um, what I want to do is I want to put some pressure here and here. Open it up like that. Put this guy right here. Okay. All right, one right here. Right there. Okay. Now
Okay, all set. Now, again, you want to lower the hinges so that they would be stuck in place there, like that. Again, secure the two screws that are already cemented. That's one. Let's see the smaller ones. So we need two screws here, one right there. I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna show you that it's all working because I don't want to open it up again, and uh, the cement has to kick in. Uh, one cement kicks in. Uh, I will open it up, make sure the hinges are working, and test it to make sure everything works. But it should everything work. I mean, we got more than 500 videos on YouTube. Uh, almost always everything works in 99% of the chances. Again, uh, give a like, we are at PowerShell Repair, if you want us to fix it for you, we're gonna fix it, I just have to find three extra screws for the missing screws here. Thanks so much for watching, have a good day, thank you.